Hello and welcome back to RepFurb. On this video we show how to remove the piston from a late 1990s Hope C2 disc brake caliper. So getting straight into it, first we need to strip off all the parts from the outside of the caliper, starting with the bleed nipple. Some of the fixings are likely to be tight depending on how long ago it was last serviced. Judging by these calipers I'll probably say never. The two bolts that hold both parts of the caliper together were very hard to get out. I had to put a screwdriver through the middle of the caliper to act as a lever. Obviously when you're doing this, just need to be careful you're not damaging anything inside. So you can see, just from looking at the video, how hard it was to remove these two bolts. They were extremely tight, obviously it had never been opened before, or if it had, not for a very long time. So once the two bolts are then removed, the two sections of the caliper will then separate, and then you can get inside and you can see both pistons. You then need to remove the small o-ring from the middle, just taking care when doing this. So now on to actually removing the piston itself. You'll need something similar to this tool that I've got here, which is a pin tool by Park Tool. It's the SPA1. So firstly, you'll need to use this tool to unscrew the piston to a certain point. As you can see, the piston itself is hardly turning when I'm doing it like this. So I'm gonna put two screws in so I can use that as a lever. You wanna screw it in enough, obviously, that you've not just got a small amount of thread that you can rip the thread out when you're doing it. So you can see from the video just what I mean. On this particular caliper, they weren't moving at all. Um, this is why I was doing this actual job to see whether I can save them. So as you can see, the piston is very tight in there. It's, you know, I can hardly even turn the tool. Once it starts getting moving, it's not so bad. I've sprayed a bit of WD-40 in around it as well to help move it a little bit more. Um, so when you're unscrewing it, you want to screw it up so it comes almost flat with the side of the caliper. You'll see what I mean when you're looking at the caliper. There's a, a raised section either side of where the piston is. You want to come up almost to there. Um, and when you get it to there, then you can apply some pressure into it with the air through the top where the bleed nipple normally is or the inlet for the hose. So when you're doing this, you put the hose in. Um, I'm using a brake bleed tool actually to do this. So you cover the hole which normally carries the oil from one side of the caliper to the other and then apply pressure. You can see at the moment with doing this, it's not having any effect on the piston whatsoever. So I'll try and turn it a little bit more, see whether it loosens it. It might be that there's a little bit of thread still caught. I don't think there is, I think it's just that the piston's tight. Obviously when you're doing this and you're applying the pressure with the air, you want to be mindful that you're putting the piston under pressure, so don't aim it at your face or anything that it might fly off and hit. Now at this point I was struggling to do it on my own, so I had to get someone to help me just to apply the pressure with the air whilst I turn the piston to remove it. You can see straight away that this is the best way of doing it because you're getting the pressure in and you're also moving the piston, turning it, which then allows it to come out a lot easier than what it was previously. Unfortunately, these pistons are knackered, they're not usable, they're too corroded, but hopefully that's helped someone with the process if they're struggling to get the piston out and that will show you just how you do it. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video, it's really appreciated. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.